Today we're going to be tuning with the assistance of a parent, an adult, or an older sibling. So I will be the adult in the room and Samantha will be the student and you notice that she has a viola in her lap in the case. So the first step is that we want you to know all about the tuning procedure so watch this video two times all the way through before you start to do these processes because it will help you to understand how important it is that you do certain things we don't want you breaking any strings and we want you to understand how to find an app on uh, YouTube and be able to match pitches so that your instrument can be in tune. So Samantha, will you take the viola and set it on the floor? And usually we set it this way, but set it so that the feet are down and, and then open the case and take the viola out of the case. And while she's doing that, you notice that we have two chairs facing each other because we're going to both be handling the instrument at the same time. So open the case, there we go, and take the viola out and turn it so that the scroll, the top of the instrument, is facing toward me and you get the body of the instrument in your lap. Okay, okay so now what I'd like you to do is take your th right thumb and pluck each string and say the name of each string as you go. A D G C Okay, very good. Now, what we're going to be doing is tuning the A string. So can you find the A string fine tuner? That's the A string. So this is the fine tuner. Yes, and notice that there's only a fine tuner on the A string on this viola. So this is going to be the only string we'll be able to tune. Um, what I'd like for you to do next is take the top of the fine tuner and turn it toward the left. And when you take the top and turn it toward the left, it lowers the pitch. So I'm going to pluck while you turn and see if we can hear the difference. good so we had to you had to turn it pretty far before you could hear much of a change and that's why it's called a fine tuner um, now let's do uh, the opposite and turn it to the right so the top of the tuner going to the right and see what happens to the pitch now good so it gets higher when you go to the right the way you can remember which way to turn it is the top of the fine tuner going to the left gets lower and it's going in the same direction toward the lower strings on the viola. So lower top of the fine tuner and lower strings go the same direction. Okay, now what we're going to do is find our reference pitch. I'll get this off of an app from YouTube. It's called Violin and Viola Tuner and it's going to play an A. And so what I'd like for you to do is, while you're listening to this A, experiment going in one direction or the other and try to make sure that you your A pitch on the viola matches the A pitch on the reference sound. I'll do the plucking. able to go one direction and I liked what you did because one of the things is in tuning is that you want to ask yourself is it the same or is it different and when you find that it's different you have to turn it to get it to match so um, then the second question is does it get better when you're turning or does it get worse and if it's getting better then you know you're going the right direction and if it's getting worse then you're going the wrong direction. So that is how you're going to tell whether your viola is in tune is by matching it to another pitch and then asking yourself those two questions. Very nice. So now I have four tips for you when you're preparing to 
tune, and you will be doing that very shortly. I want you to know that um, it's very important to be patient. When you, when you get in a hurry to try to do this process, you probably won't be successful, so take your time. Strings can break very easily if you don't know how to use the pegs. Don't use the pegs until you have seen the peg video, which is going to be the next one. And that way you'll be successful at it. Strings can also get floppy, and if one of the pegs goes loose, the string will look like a wet noodle. Don't try to fix that yourself, but take it to the music store and they'll fix it for you.